Hello everyone, Storm101 here. Today we'll be talking about uh, severe weather returning across the surface plates into the southeast. Now, good news is it's not going to be as bad the severe weather that we saw on the last event. The tornadoes across Arkansas, uh, Missouri, Severn, Illinois, Severn, Indiana, Western Kentucky, and Iowa, and Northern Illinois as well. Yeah, that was just a very busy day. Uh, for a lot of people and but anyways we're gonna get started here we're gonna uh, kind of briefly talk about this uh, severe weather event because it's right now not too big of a deal at least for today so here you go two areas of slight risk for severe storms you got one across the pain handles of Oklahoma in Texas or western Oklahoma I should say in southwestern Kansas another area a slight risk for of eastern Texas, for northern Louisiana, and into western Mississippi. Tornadoes will be a threat for both of those areas and there. As you can see there, there's a small tornado chance. It's not too big of a deal, but the area of we rather watch is this area area right up here. There's that area area up there is pretty favorable for some supercells. David you winds are there, but the hail threat, you can see there's significant severe, which they indicate there could be a probability of, hold on a minute, uh, two inches in diameter size tail or bigger. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. There will Probably a chance for supercells up there, which the models do show that pretty well. Day 2, which is tomorrow, your severe weather risk does push it to the southeast. This includes southern Alabama and southern Georgia. It used to include the Florida Panhandle, but it does not now. Again, the main threats are there. Tornado threats a little higher on that day. We're going to keep an eye on that. The supercell composite's a little bit higher. Damage of winds is there. And the hail threat is a little bit back further to the west. Now, day three, uh, there's no risk area. So, let's begin later today using the NAM. Right now, the supercell composite's not that high up there, but it does show some supercells that be going up up there. We'll get a couple of forecast outings there uh, as well. So, weak tornado, the cap is pretty is there it's kind of weak so a pretty low end tornado threat there but if you go a little further south here you get to sever texas here there's a seven that'd be the last forecast sounding for this day and as you can see there it's pretty favorable now eagle Knox is very high it's way up there there's a little bit of cap in there but it's just uh, it's about a week enough for the stores to probably push through the cap because of those updrafts. Now the significant tornado parameters, we'll take a look into that. And you know, as always, it, it kind of looks uh, pixelated, but as you can see here, it's not that high of a risk here. Showing a 2 down there, which is not too bad. So let's move our selector view here, or actually, let's take a look at two. the, uh, okay, come on, here we go. Let's take a look at the, kind of the feature radar to show you guys what I'm actually talking about. These storms right here, you got a little storm here, you got a larger storm here, and that might be another storm right up here. Your low pressure system is actually somewhere in here as well. So they got a some shear to work with as well. Since so they're really close to the low pressure system. So there's going to be a good chance for supercells right up there. You can see here the storms push to the east. And it's also indicating maybe a squall on the strong and severe thunderstorms to northern Mississippi, which is kind of interesting. But so we'll move our. Uh, selector view view to the southeast so here's your future radar again 
as you can see there you got a squall one then you got some storms that do develop out ahead of one you got to keep an eye on those as you can see there and it moves out then your front passes through let's take a look into the super set composite As you can see here, it's not that high either. Showing some fives and fours, which is, it's not bad for severe weather. It's not too bad. And the forecast that it looks good for tornadoes. As you can see here, there's no, there's not going to be any capping issues with this type of setup. So this is something we got to watch for. Your low pressure system it is currently at the Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee state lines right here. As you can see there from these wind bars here. And their sure, cold front. So the significant tornado parameters, it's in the yellows. It's not too bad. At least this setup here won't bring any significant tornadoes or anything because this low if this low pressure system was stronger, yeah, would have had some issues. But right now the low pressure system looks to be kind of weak, so that there's some good news there and you know it's pretty good to go if there was a tornado threat it's between a one and a two so it's well you know what I was saying there but that's kind of again kind of talking about the system pretty briefly here it's not going to be too big of a deal in my opinion we'll we could probably see a couple of tornadoes tomorrow, more than likely, across Alabama, Georgia, and maybe into Florida as well. Just stay weather aware out there, but anyways, guys, I'm going to end it here. But hope you guys enjoyed this brief, severe weather forecast here. If you guys did like this video, hit that like button. If you really do like my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you never miss an upload. If y'all guys got questions about this, you can put a comment section down below. I will answer you guys' questions. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.